Hello everyone and welcome to another virtual pet video. In this video I'm providing another update about what I'm currently raising, which are the uh, Digimon X's version 3's or Wave 3's. So they're both asleep right now so I should probably put the clock forward about an hour so we can play with them. But while we're doing that, uh, I, I made a mistake last night, that was not an hour. Um, and what that was is that I, well, when I fall asleep, or before I go to bed rather, I usually put them in the freezer. Well, not the real freezer, the Digimon freezer, which pauses them. And I did that on the yellow one, so that's, that's fine, that, that's all that's expected. But uh, on Hexblarmon here... I did not. Uh, I must have forgotten to, or I must have gone to the, the light option to put in the freezer and then hovered over this button and then not pressed it or pressed it like softly and it didn't register. So basically, uh, so I have definitely one care mistake when the hunger hearts went off and then probably another one when the strength one went out and then another one when... Um, the uh the, the call light for sleep time went out so i was originally going to aim for Ulforce x on this one and magnamon x on this one however i th you it can't evolve to super ultimates on three care mistakes and i'm going to go by the fact that they pr i think that the hunger and strength hearts may have depleted at different times so that would be three if they depleted at the same time, that would have just been two, which is, I guess, fine. But I, I don't, I don't like my chances on that. So I'm going to have to aim for all force on this one, and then find another super ultimate to look at. They all need between zero and two care mistakes, so it's only because I may have had three that I don't think this is evolving. But if it's evolving, I'll look at whatever leveling I need for another Super Ultimate. Originally it was going to be Ult Force on this, which meant full, uh, level cap uh, and then 0 to 2 care mistakes. And then Magnamon X on this one, which would have been 0 to 2 care mistakes and level cap on this one. So Ult Force on this one I believe is two levels below the level cap and then I'll force on this one well I'll, I won't go for all force I'll go for whatever is two levels below the level cap on this one but I highly 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 doubt that I'll be getting a super ultimate evolution because of those care mistakes I wish I could turn back time and not make those care mistakes but you know it's not the end of the world so let's see those cutaway animations Let's see if we can get them at the same time, because that looks pretty. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't get, oh, there we are. No, it wasn't at the same time. And it was great. That's why I didn't get it in the second shot. Oh, I think I missed that one. Or maybe not. But yeah, uh, I've also ob it's it's obvious now, but I didn't mention that I got to Mega on both of them, or Ultimate rather. So I have Hex Blalmon on the blue one, and I missed that one. And Metallic Dramon on the yellow one. Which was pretty exciting. I've never had those. And I, I'm just, I'm still kind of bummed that I won't get All Force X on this one. I, I love All Force X. Speaking of which, on uh, Re Arise today. Oh, that definitely missed. They are releasing the All Force X banner, which I'm. Everyone's saying that it's probably a skippable one to get, it's like it's not very good. But I just really like All Force. Oh, that was definitely a miss. I'm so bad at jewel wielding them. Oh, 
Oh, I missed. I mean, I still got like a, a good or a great, but not a not an excellent. So basically, I need to fill up their effort because I only got them to two hearts effort yesterday, I think. But of course, I'll need to grind them. I think I did a little bit yesterday. Uh, so... Five on this one and five on this one. So I think I only have to have to get up to level six, I think, to get to the evolutions that I want. So of course we will go to the easiest to grind, which is level thirteen. And I won't even bother to take the experience booster because I don't really need it. Another thing that I forgot that was annoying about the DMXs is that the the level of battery depletion is so much worse than any other uh, Digimon. <laughs> like, I think I've gone through about three batteries each uh, for them, but I it's also probably not the best brand of batteries. I don't think it even has a brand. I think it's just generic. So I've got some Maxil batteries coming in the mail and those ones are pretty good. I've never had a problem with Maxils. They seem to last fairly long and yeah, I just, and they, they don't explode. I mean, that's more so with the LR44s. The LR44s always seem to explode. Uh, I, in, only for like Panasonic and generic brands, but the Maxell LR44s don't. But the CR2032s, which these ones take, don't explode, but they just don't last as long on other brands. So I tend to go with Maxell, which is what I've got coming in the mail. And they weren't too expensive for like a pack of 20 either. I think level six is the level I need for both of them, even though, I'm, as I said, I'm not convinced that I will get a, an evolution to Super Ultimate on uh, for Hex Blarmon. Oh, we need to eat some big meat. And I'll still train this little bit. But I uh, usually, I just have them set a few hours in the future, just so they can go to bed at a like when I'm still when I'm going to bed but I guess this time I was like no I'll just uh, I'll freeze them overnight it's fine I don't mind the eight hour delays for evolution it's fine but I guess that kind of bit me though I guess I could also do the same if it's falling asleep and when I turn out the light it doesn't want to turn off and by it doesn't want to turn off I mean I I don't turn it off because I'm dumb dumb all right so that's I'm going to double check the evolution requirements. I think six is the level I want to go to. And how are we going over here? Yep, I still need to train this one. But uh, overall pretty pumped uh, that I got to ultimate at least. I'm not entering the tournament. I, I don't enter tournaments anymore because I'm just too busy to be there for the battles. Uh, specifically because I live in Australia and that's not such a good time zone for other people. It was fine when I was working from home because I could just take a break and do the battles on a break, but or because I was I could basically do whatever I wanted until nine o'clock, like I didn't have to commute to work. It was nice to have that uh that time there, but because I it's harder for me to find time to do the battles, I just don't partake in the tournaments. But I wish I could. Like I I just I just don't feel it's fair for the other person because I live in a in, in Australia, and nobody else does. Well, okay, that's unfair. A lot of people do, but it, it just felt like whenever I'm paired up against someone, it's someone in a very bad time zone for me. So, yeah, the new hatch, I believe, starts tomorrow. It's the Zodiac hatch. I have a few ideas about what I want to start, but I will definitely finalize them tonight, and I'll be able to do a video, I think, tomorrow. Though, the way I'm uploading, I'm kind of... I have a backlog of stuff I need to upload, so 
it's this video will probably upload tomorrow and then the video I'm recording tomorrow will probably record in the, the next day. But anyway, so that's it for that video and I will see you on the next one. Bye!